It's the best time in history to be a PC gamer. Not only are we benefiting from industry-wide trends like the indie revolution, but PCs are increasingly getting more of the titles long thought of as landmark console exclusives. With the popularity and usability of platforms like Steam reaching ever more dizzying heights, and even long-time console developers converting to the growing PC bandwagon, the incentives to drop a few thousand dollars, or pounds, on a brand new, powerful rig have never been more tantalising. But what are the best PC games to play right now? Here are 10 of the most incredible experiences you can have with a mouse and keyboard. And yes, there are only 10 here, which means we have to miss a lot out. Left 4 Dead 2. Hey, where is everybody? Hello? You know a game must be good when thousands of supposed boycotters buy and play it on release day anyway. Even though Left 4 Dead 2 defies the Valve sequel schedule we all know and love, we didn't have to wait a decade for this one, its existence is totally justified by one simple fact. Left 4 Dead 2 does everything that its stellar predecessor does, only better. Whether you're playing purely cooperatively or taking part in the addictive asymmetrical multiplayer, Left 4 Dead 2 makes fighting zombies fun again with its new modes and refreshingly varied environment themes that can keep you entertained for endless nights of the living dead. Undertale Undertale is not only one of the best games of the last decade, it's also easily one of the most surprising. What appears on the surface to be an unassuming, weird little indie game slowly unravels over the course of several hours to be one of the most amusing and oddly compelling experiences to land on our monitors in recent history. Undertale combines masterful writing and deft manipulation of some of the RPG genre's most tried and tested and stale tropes, as well as a healthy dose of fourth wall breaking humour. Saying too much about it would only spoil its many layers of delight. Don't walk, run to grab a copy of it, and you won't regret it. Team Fortress 2 Team Fortress 2 is the ultimate example of a great idea that's just got better with time. Even after thousands of hours, the battle between red and blue never grows stale. And, oh yeah, it's totally free to enjoy. But above all, Team Fortress 2 is a game that simply oozes personality from every last pore. Who can forget the heavy's hearty laugh or the spy's wily grin as he plunges his knife into a medic's tender back? Right behind you. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. When people talk about why PC gaming is better than console, Skyrim is one of the first titles they point to. This is the pinnacle of open world fantasy games, packed with an incredible amount of content that will keep you playing for months. And if you've got a decent gaming rig, it all looks absolutely gorgeous, not to mention that you have access to thousands of free, player-made mods to extend the game's life for however long you'd like. The release of the special edition last year makes this game an absolutely irresistible package for anyone that somehow missed it the first time round. You can hunt dragons, punch the local wildlife to death, or just fill a man's house with carrots. That's the beauty of Skyrim, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Overwatch Competitive shooters are a huge genre, and a hugely profitable one. One whose modern form was pioneered by Call of Duty, but that owes a debt to the earliest days of FPS multiplayer, when dial-up modems provided the glitchy bridge between copies of Quake. Overwatch succeeds in large part because of the way it harkens back to those old-school shooters, putting aside almost everything that doesn't directly serve the gameplay, and offering just enough of a sense of progression to keep players hooked from match to match. Overwatch doesn't present a huge number of new ideas, but what it does so well is take some of those old ideas and refine them to near perfection. World of Warcraft MMORPGs are some of the most rewarding time sinks ever conceived. World of Warcraft remains the best of the best. It's incredibly accessible, there's no overly harsh death penalty, and levelling is best done not simply by grinding, but by completing quests that have interesting stories and adventuring from one massive detailed hub to the next. And with each new expansion, WoW continues to get better. With a world far larger than most MMOs, tons of memorable raid dungeons, great PvP arenas, Pokemon-esque pet battles, and now player housing, there's not much else we could ask to be added to an already phenomenal game. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Yes, the first two games were much less ambitious, inevitably hamstrung by smaller budgets and resources, and a more constrained development window. The Witcher 3, by comparison, continues the strong tradition of some of the industry's best storytelling, but also pairs that with excellent writing and truly compelling gameplay. It takes some of the best features of the second game and hones them to a razor's edge, then drops the entire experience into a vast open world populated by fantastic creatures. The third game sets us loose in one of the best fantasy worlds in gaming history, and gives us the tools to make that world feel like home, if a slightly demented, slightly darker version of home than we might be accustomed to. Minecraft would Minecraft have been just as successful if it weren't for the millions of users uploading YouTube videos 24 hours a day? Who knows? But with more than 100 million registered users on the PC version alone, that's a lot of people stacking blocks and slaying ender dragons. Part of the appeal is that you can play any way you choose, whether that's rebuilding the world of Game of Thrones or crafting your own personal cosy shack. 
But watching someone else play can be just as entertaining, because the possibilities are endless when a game hands over control to a creative player. And, like most things in life, it's always better with a friend. Bioshock. Released for the PC in 2007, and now part of the Bioshock collection, the first game explores the consequences of unchecked human ambition to pitch perfect effect. The game pioneers new methods of interactive storytelling, be it through now trite cassette playback sequences or clues painted, usually in blood, on the walls. The game also riffs on the FPS genre by introducing the magic-like plasmid powers. Rarely does a game come along that takes as many risks as Bioshock, and even more rarely does it succeed in being so wildly entertaining. Portal 2. Portal 2 picks up where the original left off, not only in terms of mechanics and gameplay, but in terms of tone, and then it layers on more complex puzzles and more developed characters. Not only is the base single-player game longer, more involved and more complex, but Portal 2 also introduces a suite of cooperative challenges that test not only your ability to solve reality-bending challenges, but also to coordinate your efforts with the web. Those co-op puzzles remain some of the best ever devised for a video game, and the multiplayer even features its own characters and narrative. The entire package is a sterling example of how to build up a sequel that not only expands on the ideas of the original, but improves on them in almost every way. Don't disappoint me. And that completes our list of the 10 best games you can play on PC right now. Because it's only a top 10, there are so many stellar games that didn't make the list, so please let your fellow gamers know about your choices in the comments below. You can click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews, and features right here on GameTrader Plus.